excited? How are we gonna plug the so I'm gonna probably prime it through that back corner this side's all dry except for that so we need to find a way to plug that and I'm gonna guess if we put this you couldn't just run them into each other well I need one to squirt in the blower because it's there's no oil in the blower and without it we'll have problems okay. so I can put a cap over that and we got that covered and what I can do with this is go like that yeah. And we're covered. So we're just going <laughs> to shoot that line into the blower? Yeah. And that should be fine. It shouldn't squirt all over the damn place? I didn't say that. <laughs> you I, wanna... said, I said the oil's going in that hole. And it got to go in that hole. But it's going to squirt all over everything. More than likely. You want to put that plastic? Shh. It's okay. It is a you, good... You're on the cleanup detail. You get to clean it. <laughs> you need to That's clean what up. I'm trying you... to get away from. Oh, come on. Yeah, somebody's got to clean up behind me, right? We don't want it to squirt all over our $600 door. Well, that looks like it needs a bath anyway. <laughs> I got it... solvent. We can clean that up. What if you, put, you a, put a, piece put of a of cover over it? that? Just, okay. Something like Get that. Get a piece of cardboard. Yeah, see that? Stick in that hole. Now you're, now you're, okay, here's what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm pulling this out of here. This right shot where he stuck, blow it, me stuck it. Yeah, I know he do. So I'm gonna put oh, this down here like that. That little hole in the fuel pump the other day that I was screwing with. Yeah. That's what goes in that hole. Quit taking things there. for one thousand dollars. No, that's eighteen hundred for that one. <laughs> Quit this, taking things away from me. See this right here. Yeah. If you, if you, if you, if you put it, it, I just shove a piece of hose on that, and you can run it somewhere where it's out of the way. That's what she said. So that's gonna. That is in that's case the, it all. This is the, this is this is the official part that goes in that motor. Explain what it is again to the folks. It's like a road draft tube for the fuel pump. Now we can oh, sixteen no. times. We can and no, I don't be doing. Come it. on, work with me. I am. I'm gonna. <laughs> he's uh. He's out ruling you. He just thinks because his name is Joe. That my ideas ain't any good. <laughs> <laughs> I need something to put here, a little block of wood or something, and something that goes from Just, there. Oh, he's gonna be so upset. Yeah, because it's my idea. Craig Ferguson was always calling his. Uh, is <laughs> a guy that would uh, monitor what he was saying and bleep him and whatnot. <laughs> You're a racist. <laughs> I uh... that fit. I'm so proud of you. So we got those holes plugged. Take a picture of what we just did there. Steve, Joe, and I did some teamwork, but he didn't like my invention. Well, I think Your that invention's is fine. Just I'm lovely. gonna set that right there and see if that thing moves. So there's the gate. <laughs> That's the line that goes to the compressor. Oh, I have a cap for that. We're good for that. I can cover that up very, very quickly. What we're doing is, or what Joe's doing is he's plugging up all the getting the oil. We're gonna start this thing, so he wants to just plug all the oil holes. All right, slide over, Dad. You're in the that's my instrument, my choice weapon in this world. That's yeah, my tool set. I used to work on a little guy's truck, and I don't know where he come up with this. It was one of his sayings was, "Give me a wrench." <laughs> <laughs> Just give me a wrench. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Yeah. He is a truck driver. He had a '92. I worked on it semi-regularly. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I says, hell, we could have put a Series 60 in this in place of this thing if, with the kind of money you're putting in this junk. And he goes, why didn't you say something sooner? Yeah, why didn't you say something? 
Say what you want well, me to the, do. The inside of that hole, we, I'd like to see it tapered out so it's a funnel shaped, so that the air doesn't hit it and, and tumble. It makes it makes a restriction. Yeah, so you want it narrower at the top. Yeah, tapered around there like this. Yeah, okay. So that it, the airflow comes by it and it goes by it easy, like right out to the edge of this. It's so funny. you're wanting it. Yeah, and then real thin and tapered down. Probably, it can go down as far as you want, but it, it should have a little distance in it, so it's funnel shaped, so the air can go by there easy. Well, you, yeah, the, I'm gonna have the blower gone. I got to work on the blower yet, so yeah, I'll take it off when we get done running it. All right, so I need to need to take yeah. this down. Well, I could ask to you. do that, but then this part here, I don't want you can you can take a die grinder bit there and, and smooth that up so it's smooth, so when the pipe goes onto it, it seals better. Because it's got some the casting's kind of rough in a couple spots, you just want it to seal good there. Mm. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but you know, well it's like this. See how much nicer that is. If you polish it off like that, then it, the pipe will fit better and it'll seal better. All I'm going for is make it better. You want a good, good seal? Yeah. No air leaks. Okay. You won't see them unless the, the turbo's pushing oil through it, but it'll be be fine you polish it up so she looks good it's one of those eyeball deals well you lay a taper in it so it, so it looks like it was factory made so it matches the inside of the pipe that's that's what you're looking for it would be like a race car modification you're just making it better than it would be if whoever put it together and just disregarded the quality side of it Maybe it's that extra little mile an hour you're trying to get at the end oh, of the yeah. yeah. It's, it makes a difference on how all that stuff works. Back in so the much? That's three quarter pipe. Oh, so yeah. you're going to uh, put those eight gallons in there, or seven gallons. I don't know. What? Sorry, bad question. I'm cold. Somebody parted. Yeah, it was me. Stressed because of all this, huh? Much fun I'm having. <laughs> Intense. So how many gallons will that hold? This huh? holds 12 gallons. So yeah. after you do that, you put it in the engine. You say you're gonna take the fan off a couple of times. Well, we're gonna, we're probably gonna end up taking the fan off one way. Or, well, we're gonna take it off because I want I got the springs for the regulator relief because I'd like to do that because the stuff that was in it isn't right. So then you dispose of the oil. Well, we can, actually you can reuse it for a little bit yeah. because it depends on what it looks like when it comes out. If it's got, well, if the pan comes off, that's what Detroit recommends that you do. What they do is the, the relief and the filter, they want you to plug that so it can't blow the relief open. Run the motor, do the dyno runs with it, pull the pan off of it, and clean all the big chunks out of the bottom of the pan. And then throw the filter away and put no oil in it. We're not gonna have no big chunks. Uh, I blew some out of it, so I'm sure there's something hidden somewhere. That's so exciting. No, it's really slow and thick. Putting the air box check valve on there. When the motor's running, it's blowing air out of there all the time. And if it's got something wrong with it, it'll blow oil out of it or water. Oh yeah. So it kind of tells you what's going on. So if you, uh, with this check valve in it, when it runs down the road, this closes when it gets about uh, just a little bit of pressure on it. And then it closes that off so that, that like if you're towing a car, it doesn't spray it down, so it's got black speckles on your white car. Well, we had plenty of that. <laughs> yeah. Well, this that's what this is for, to stop that. Clean, and it keeps the bottom side of the rig all clean. It keeps the back of the bus clean. It's a better deal. Yeah. 
and then but it still leaves the check valve open when it's idling so that way if there's that way if the water comes out or the oil comes out you can tell what's going on with the motor and you don't have a big surprise about how come it's doing that yeah somebody gave me one of those I showed them years ago I use them on occasion This is not very, not very good, huh? It's almost impossible to work on right here. And you can't see nothing from here. Uh, so here's another cheat, cheating way to do this. leave it there for the rest of creation well on this one it's hard to do because the starter's right there so I have to get it off it's not an option <laughs> I do have a rig that's got one of my wrenches on it it's one of the fuel lines on the front of the motor come loose and the only way you could do it is the box end well it's still where I got done with it I'm gonna get lucky and that's gonna work that is awesome Steve had a bad night. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Mom was up and down. Steve's got a headache, so... Ah, uh, crap. I'm gonna turn that like that. He'll be alright. Uh. Well, at least it's not very cold today. Yeah, it's kind of surprising. Here, or one of them, anyway. Yeah. So we can. I just gotta see how far I missed by. Come on, baby, hit the hole. See that's an air box check valve? Yeah. What he's in? Actually, if you look around on a early 50s Chevy, that's the PCV valve for it. <laughs> oh. Acting up. It's an old. Hey. It's <laughs> Unless they're looking. So now. Model what I started here. That's gonna rattle around, isn't it? Well, what I gotta I gotta do is move it up to this one. Yeah. And then tip the end of it down and put a little piece of hose on it so it hangs down here so you can see what so it stays out of the way. That's the plan. Closer. Not hard to design. Oh, that's the wrench for that. Let's look at this and make sure it's not junk. Ah, copper washer, wrong size, but close enough. I blew all the mud out of it yesterday. We're good. He just he does he does a really nice body and fender work on that paint now. Well he's uh He's amazing, really. I mean, he did get all the little dents out. I was. Yeah, but I've seen these in service. Uh, you can't. <laughs> you can't hardly really get any oil in them when they get done smashing them. <laughs> yeah. The. Cool. Very cool. Okay, I'm gonna go back over here for a minute. Okay, there's the finished product, you got a bolt on it. 
That's pretty much what I missed. <laughs> yeah. And then you have another line go off of that down towards the ground. Yeah, we'll probably take those fuel lines you got and buck one of them too so it's got a tail hanging on, on the bottom. Then you can take a look and see what's coming out of there. Hopefully, if we break it in right and they put the right rings in it, we're good. If not, it'll have a little trail behind it when it sets down idling somewhere. Well, I hope that's not the case. Me too, but I find it. Everybody thinks they know something about these. Well, we ordered the turbo cylinder kits. I don't know what the hell he ordered this past week. Well, see, the problem with that is it's got trunk style pistons in it, and they built a few engines like that. Trunk style, would you explain that. Just a regular regular piston with a wrist pin through it. When you get to the crosshead pistons, there's a dome for the piston and a skirt, and then the connecting rod bolts to the wrist pin. And that's what makes it a, those were, there's better cooling to the dome and the piston so that you can get more power out of them without hurting them. That's the problem with these pistons is you, you there's kind of a limit for what you're going to get. And the, seeing that limit is about durability. Well, I don't know, Leon. But as, but as over time with a coach, it's a little better because you don't get so many miles on it. It's, they're just regular truck style pistons. The, the, they use the same connecting rods that came with the motor. The problem with that is, is that's old shit and it's uh, basically obsolete because if you want real power out of them, you got to go to crossheads and see the rods. These rods have orifices in them to restrict the oil to the piston. And somebody that would done that should have pulled that shit out of it. But we'll see. I know they're all brand new piston rods and everything. Did you look at them? Oh yeah, I looked at all that stuff, but it's it's all old. And if you're going to build a turbo engine, you want to step up and just change the rods and the cylinder kits together. And I got to look and I want to look at one of them, see if it's got the what port liner they put with them because turbo stuff actually takes a different liner than what normally comes with them. You can look at them through the inspection plate? Yeah, the airbox covers are a friend because when you look for bad parts, you just open the door and look inside and go, yeah, that's bad right there. That didn't feel good. This is all good. We're good. See, that come out really nice. The, how long was that bolt? That's a stud. I found it in amongst all this stuff. For this? Yeah, it belongs on there. That's the way that come when it was new. <clears throat> I'll be dang! See, you know. <laughs> I've been worried about that stupid bolt forever. <laughs> well, I have a thing about how it looks, you know. Yeah. And, and this is really nice when you got studs. Because you don't have to line up shit. You just cloak it on there and you're done. And it's out here where it's easy to get to. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, and it's nice to look at. There's a there's a whole list of things that are good about stuff that works good. And I'm kind of kind of that way. I like my stuff a certain way. Me too. When I used to install pay telephone booths, when you look at my wiring, when you opened up the... Yeah. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a ball? Oh no, it was all, I put tie wire, and tie straps, and yeah. made it where you knew what the hell was going on. Yeah. I know. Nobody does that crap anymore. Right. The six is uh, the number of cylinders. A designates it's a 71 series. And the 34660 is the, that's the engine it was built 
That's the original engine because of the star at the end of the part number, or the serial number. Okay, this is the model number from the old style. This is 671 LA. That designates rotation, and the, this is the engine arrangement where the blower and the exhaust is. And the 47 is a specific uh, model. And I'm going to guess it don't denotes that this one's for a bus. Oh. And, it's, and it, it, it pertains to the, uh, the gingerbread on the outside of it. How it all goes together. Wow. So we're pretty much uh, are original. Yeah, this motor's close enough to the one you had. It's good. And the other thing is kind of This neat. is the same engine that's always been in that bus as far as I know. Well... It wasn't forever because this one, this 4104, this was stamped. This is out of the bus it came out of. This is out of 4104407. Hmm. Okie dokie. Okay, you're just watching oil run in a motor. Well, we put oil up here, then the roller came. So, so you'll see oil come up around the rockers here pretty soon. It's got to fill the oil filter. Here. There's no oil in it yet, but it'll have oil in here in a while. So we hooked the oil up to the cert in the back there. And then I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. <laughs> All good. And we put the uh, oil on the roller cams. Cam folders. Cam pockets. Cam pockets. So when they get it takes about five minutes for them to get up there, pump up there, so yeah. we put oil up there instead. First, yeah. So they were all right there. The only thing you really missed was him holding the hose up there with oil coming out of it. Mm. So, squirting uh, oil. Actually, you'll start seeing oil come up around the rockers. That'd be cool. It just, it'll take a little bit because the oil's kind of cold up because it's got down to 27 last night again and without the heat that's cold <laughs> yeah see the where it's stamped out that's for the bottom fuel rail and then that normally stamped in and it's you can almost make it out yeah but that's where the fuel goes in the cylinder head the rail yeah so so the bottom is the out, and it says so. Yep. And in on the top. And ends up here, tells you. Fuel in, fuel out. Nah. I'd have brought you some coffee, but I know you don't like it. So. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's our floor. No, uh, it's going out around the pan of the Oh, I know what that is. Fuck. Pardon me. <laughs> That's okay. Um let's get something to catch it. Yeah, I'll, I'll it's, get, it's, get. it's it's done catching it. There's two O rings in there. I thought about that and I go, maybe we ought to look at that. And it's like, now we know. It's all bullshit. How many days have we sat behind on that? Actually, you should be able to go to Napa and get that. <laughs> Tell me what size I can get. Hey, man, I, I got it. I got to take that crap off of there and <laughs> hand you parts because these guys will never figure this out. Hey, man, I need some uh, old rings for... Uh, I, for 47 uh, Studebaker. You got a napper, right? You're, you're a napper. Give me some old rings. <laughs> yeah. You betcha. Those guys will figure that out instantly. Okay, so we got the... 40 weight's kind of sticky. That's, well, it's like I said, we're going to do a little bit of... Put it together, run it, put it, take it apart, put it back together again because there's gonna be need to check shit a little bit before we yeah. commit to a C trial for it. Cause she may not like it.
Well, I can run down there. Uh, I'm going to let that leak a little bit because it's full of oil, and when I take that off, there's going to be a bunch more oil run out of it. What? What, you're, you're the day crew? Yeah, we had a shit out right away. It's what coming happened? out, there's no O-rings in the oil filter, filter adapter. <laughs> What'd you turn it over? No, we no. just started leaking. Pressurized oil going we in the back. Pressurized it because we got a pre bit to get it to. And then, oh, we found that, so we didn't have to do that while I was trying to run. Let me get my cup. <laughs> I'm going to guess you're about coffee cup late. <laughs> Yeah, it came pouring out of there, and I, I looked down there, and I went, I don't think that's bad. Is this how you want this? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Teacher. <laughs> Is this how you want this thing? What are you doing? Covering up the afterbirth. That smells good. That's all I want. Don't you do it. Make it too much. Make it a boo-boo. Makes foo-foo. Oh, there you go. Now we're working. I'm glad we filmed it. Uh, yeah, here, you want a picture? <laughs> Take a picture of that. That's why it leaked the oil. What is this for? What was that little gasket? Kind of poochered out? Yeah. You know why? It's the wrong one. Uh. It is absolutely the wrong one. <clears throat> okay, here. You saw that. So, when you, uh... Well, that's an oddball looking thing. Okay, no, go ahead. Go ahead. that's that's a normal filter gasket for Detroit. But it's too big. But no, you gotta have the right one. That's, that's, 53 series uses a lot of that. So that when you put the filter can on, it stands right on that O-ring. This one... Is that supposed to be round? No, he's, no. that's what he's saying, that's the right one. This one takes a paper gasket. It's a flat paper gasket. It's about that wide. And it flips into that notch and it doesn't come out. And that's what the problem is. They put the wrong junk in it. And then they Loctited it in, <laughs> which is more fun yet. Should we, should we call down there? So what you can do, should we call down to Napa? And then um, 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 the AC part number for it is a PF-132 and it'll give you both of these come with the filter da -da 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 -da. okay there's a part number for the thing right there and I don't know who made it but you have to show them that thing so they can figure it out because those guys sell a uh, canister to spin on adapters like that and if you show them that, they'll figure it out. I don't know whether that one's AC, because AC is the ones that made that stuff. Detroit didn't have anything to do with it, other than they sold. So we're at a standstill again. No. I mean, first. No. That. You gotta go get the parts. No. You can stand still all you want. I get to go in there. Oh. God. Who is that? Well, you're, the pro. you're the pro. Yeah, we have a 671 with a spin-on oil filter adapter and we need the little rubber components to make this thing work because one of them leaks. Uh, what's a 671? What are you talking about? Damn motor. <laughs> uh, what's a 671? Damn motor. <laughs> Detroit diesel. Uh, it's had a spin-on oil filter adapter put on it, so it's got away from the canister filter to, to a spin-on filter. So it's got like a 670 uh, oil filter on it, and it, the other setup was a PF-132, that's AC number. And whatever this adapter is, I need that flat paper gasket that goes with that 132 oil filter. Or if you've got the, the kit to re replace this rubber stuff in this, it would be awesome. Well, you're bleeding, blowing me out of the water. I think it was an oil filter housing adapter. And I'm not sure how to look up. The answer for 671. Uh, 
Look, look up. Okay, stop. <laughs> look up a PF 132 oil filter for uh, Detroit, and okay. and that's and that's an AC number. Look that up. See if you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the same one. And that's it. If you don't have the stuff for the adapter, I can use the gasket out of the filter. See, that's why I wanted you to talk to him. All right, bye. <laughs> don't throw my $1,100. Hey, I had to pay 5000 a year contract with the pan cash. Explain <laughs> to us what Mike's getting again. What you just accomplished on the phone. So, because that takes a, a PF-132 oil filter, we can get the gasket out of it and put it in here and make this work. Ideally, it would be nice to get the whole kit that goes in this to reseal it. And... Uh, the guy I talked to had no clue what I was talking about. I None. Guess, I know that. And I, I enjoy that. You deal so much. that. You deal with that all the time, don't you? Oh yeah. No, it's, it's horrible because if you get anybody that's younger than like fifty, they don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah. What's a six seventy one? And if it doesn't have a Toyota hood ornament or a Honda hood ornament, you're screwed. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, do we? we need now to you're gonna get. You're gonna have Mike pick up this. I'll, I'll need I'll cap. We could call what are you doing, PC Industries and ask them about that. But see, there's there's two of these in the in with that filter, and you get this one and you get the paper gasket. Well, they put the wrong one in when they put it together. You know, there's a I got a video of Jason putting that together, and Leon well, was standing there going like this, and then he said, Leon said, No, 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 no. Then when the, when he was lo I think locking that in, yeah, Leon took over and did a well. They used locked, a, uh, they loctited the prick in there. I don't know why they did that. Well, they so they make a kit that has that rubber O ring that we just took out, and then a flat paper gasket and this this O ring here. Right. See if you can figure out what the number is for it, because at least if you've got the number for it later on, then we can get another, get that whole setup again. Wait, I, want, I need your hand. No, not, not a pair, just one. <laughs>